Welcome to FM Shushan Academy. Okay, we're continuing on integers. So for example, if they give you simplify, you're simplifying this question, simplify, they can say negative two minus minus seven. And then they put brackets like this. Okay, how do you solve such kind of question? The first thing you do, because of brackets, whenever you see brackets, there are brackets here. Have you seen these brackets? The ones I put these ones, this one and this one, these brackets. Okay, negative seven is in brackets. So the, the negatives are separated by a bracket. This negative here and that negative are separated by a bracket. Whenever there are brackets, when you're simplifying, you always drop the first number, this one. You drop it down. You don't solve before dropping it down. So you drop it down, the one I've circled. So the first thing is you drop negative two. Okay. You drop negative two. When negative two drops, then this negative and that negative, when you are multiplying same signs, okay? There's a negative here and another negative here. And then there's, there are brackets separating them. So there's negative and then brackets negative. When there are two negatives, they always form a positive. Whenever there's a bracket, I repeat, if there are two negatives and then there's a bracket, there will be a positive here. And then seven comes here. Okay? These two negatives form a positive. If they are negatives, they form a positive. And then this negative two plus seven, I've already taught you this. Okay? I said you subtract the smaller number from the bigger one. I taught you how to solve this. You are from solving this type in the previous teaching and lesson. So it is five. And then the sign of bigger number is positive. I've taught you how to solve this one. So that's how you solve. The only part I didn't explain is on the brackets. But on this part here, I've already taught you how to solve this type. Okay? Where I said you subtract 7 minus 2, you get 5. And then you get the sign of a bigger number, which is positive. I explained these ones. I explained this type of questions. Okay? So that's question 1. Okay, we'll go on question two. Okay, so again, they can say simplify seven. Uh, they can say seven minus minus two. I said when there are, when there are brackets, you drop the first number. So seven, you drop it down. Okay, seven, you drop it down. And then this negative here, times another negative here. Why is it times? Because bracket means times. So it means negative times bracket. This bracket means times. So it means negative times negative. You get positive. And then 2. 7 plus 2, it is 9. You see? That's how you, 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 you do it. Okay? So this negative here, plus, uh, I mean times, this negative, not plus. Bracket means uh, times. So negative times negative means positive. I've explained this. Okay? Question three. Three minus negative three. This is negative three minus minus two. The first thing is you drop the first number. That's what I said. You always drop the first number. When there are brackets, this first number, you drop it, guys. So you drop the first number. Okay? So that is negative what? So you drop negative 3, this negative and this negative form a positive 2. These ones I've taught you. You subtract the small number from the bigger number. So you say 3 minus 2 is 1. Then the sign of the bigger number is what? It's negative. So this negative comes here. So it means the answer is negative 1. Okay. Question 4. What about if the, the signs are different now? For example, negative 3 plus minus 4. Okay? If it's like this. Have you seen? Now here the signs are different. Okay? This is positive here. Okay? 
and then here it's negative. Okay? Because the signs are different, the way you are going to solve is different from the first one. So first you drop negative 3. Okay. So positive, this bracket means times. So positive times negative. So it means positive times negative, it is negative. Okay? Positive times negative is negative. You remember I said negative times negative is positive. So meaning positive times negative is negative. Positive times negative, it is negative. Or negative times positive, it's still the same thing. It's going to be negative. As long as the signs are different, you get a minus here. Minus 4. And then I taught you this, how to solve this. I said when the signs are same, there are no brackets here. Here there are no brackets. There there are brackets. First you deal with the brackets. So it's negative here. So negative 3, negative 4. I taught you how to solve this. I said you add the numbers and then you maintain the sign. So 3 plus 4 is what? 3 plus 4, it is... Uh, this is 4 here. 3 plus 4, it's 7. Okay? And then you maintain the, ne the, the negative. So it's negative 7. I taught you how to solve this one. Okay. So question 5, guys. Question 5. Question 5. Negative 7 minus... Uh, uh, okay, this is it, plus, open bracket, negative 2. Okay? How do you solve this? The same way. You first drop the negative 7. First, you drop the first number. And then, I told you about how to deal with this. Positive times negative. Positive, there's a positive here, times negative. When there are different signs, you always get a negative here. If the signs here are different, one is positive, one is negative, meaning you have a negative here. And then this two comes here. And then same signs, you add the numbers, then you maintain the sign. So 7 plus 2, it is 9. Then you maintain the sign which is negative. I taught you how to do this in the previous example. So that's how you solve this. And then you go on the next, the next part. What do you do? The next part is Z. Question six. That was question. You are dealing with question five. Now question six. What do you do with question six? Question six. You solve it in a similar manner. So for question six, question six, you solve it in a similar manner. You say this is question five. So you go to question six. So question six, similar manner again. Uh, that is 2 minus negative 2. This is plus negative 5. Okay? So the same thing, you drop negative 2. Different signs when multiplied, this is positive, this is negative. When you are multiplying different signs, you always get a negative. I told you, different signs form a negative. So 5 comes here. This 5, you drop it here. And then to be negative 7 here. Why? Because these signs are same here and here. So you add the numbers, you maintain the sign. So 2 plus 5, it is 7. Then negative is maintained. Okay. We have come to the end. So now we are going to have the exercise. Practice this exercise so that you can understand. Question 1. Okay, simplify, question 1, 2 minus minus 6, 2 minus minus 6, brackets there, 2, 3, negative 3, minus, minus 7, that's question 2, question 3, Negative 4 minus minus 5. Question 4, negative 4 plus minus plus 2. Question 5, negative 9 minus positive 3. Okay. Then question 6, negative 9 negative negative 9 plus negative 2 
negative 9 plus negative 8, eight actually here. Okay, 7, 10, negative 10, minus positive 2. 8, negative 9, minus, minus 4. Okay, we've come to the end. Solve this exercise. Submit your answers.